Electricity is essential to everyday life. From smartphones to smart cars, we use electricity for almost everything. The actual device that makes electricity is called a generator. You might recognize this kind, a portable gas generator sold at hardware stores. The generator has been refined a lot since Michael Faraday invented it in 1832. But the concept is pretty simple. Electric magnets are made to spin inside windings of copper wire. This disturbs the electromagnetic field, and that makes electricity. We're gonna visit power stations in New Brunswick that look very different from each other. But in all of them, you will find generators, some as big as a couch, some as big as a train car. But under the hood, it's Michael Faraday's idea at work. Electric magnets spinning inside coils of copper wire, creating an electric field. Now here's the big question. How do you make that generator spin? It takes energy. It takes energy to make electricity. It takes energy to rotate the generator, usually at 3,600 RPM, or 60 cycles per second. A fit person pedaling a simple bicycle generator can only power two 100-watt light bulbs for an hour. And that's if they're really in shape. So it takes serious power to heat homes and light streets. Attached to all generators is some kind of propeller device called a turbine. Envy Power uses five different energy sources to rotate the turbine blades that in turn spin the generators. There's wind, water, nuclear fission, biomass, and various fossil fuels, including coal, oil, natural gas, and diesel. What haven't we mentioned? Solar power, the only one that does not involve a generator. Presently, there are no large-scale solar projects in New Brunswick. Tidal power, still in the experimental stage. Both great topics for another time. Each fuel or energy source has its own benefits and its own drawbacks. There's price to consider, of course, but we also need to weigh each fuel's environmental impact and its predictability. Because there are peak times of the day when a lot more electricity is demanded than at three in the morning, when most people are asleep. One vital thing you need to know, big amounts of electricity can't be stored. Battery technology just isn't there yet. Which means when people need electricity, you have to instantly generate it. When demand goes up, power stations need to respond quickly. That means using more fuel on demand. Predictability is very important if you want a hot shower at 7 a.m. Let's visit four New Brunswick power plants and understand how the big four, wind, water, coal, and nuclear fission, give us the power we count on every day. And as we do, let's always be asking, how can we do this better?